market innovations can have impactful benefits that drive real business value. But how can firms capitalise on new opportunities that drive stronger business outcomes at a time of intense mandatory change? Well, to discuss how firms are unlocking value from some of the latest swift innovations while dealing with the transition to ISO 20022 and readying for instant payments, we're joined now by Heidi Dittmar, the General Manager of Broadridge Financial Solutions in Germany. Hi, thanks so much for being with us. Hey, welcome. So, Heidi, you have a particularly interesting and diverse role uh, because I understand you run Broadridge's overall business in Germany, but you're also head of its Swiss services business on a global basis. So just tell us a little bit more about those uh, two hats that you wear. Sure, yeah. The main reason pretty much goes a little back to history, uh, as always. Um, initially, the service bureau was founded back in 2000 in Frankfurt and since then has been managed on a product level um, alongside with our other solutions out of Frankfurt. And then obviously running Germany includes uh, the solutions that we offer on trade cycle uh, management, asset management and investor communications. Mm. So it is a demanding role, but still enjoyable. I've been doing that for over 15 years oh, and wow. I still... Still loving it. Expect to do it every day. Yep, sure. Now, one of your big announcements uh, for Cybos this year does, in fact, involve Swift and its new and enhanced services. Uh, for example, I understand that you've been especially fast to the market in helping firms access the latest advances in sanction compliance. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about that? So. Uh, we are enabling our customers using a lot of SWIFT services um, on a daily basis and have to been doing that for many, many years. Obviously, the current kind of, let's say, hot topic is having screening solutions in order to support the velocity and the speed that we see in order to manage uh, liquidity or working capital. Um, for us, joining the API enabler program from SWIFT was really a natural step to extend uh, our proven track record in successful implementations. We've just signed our first client for that already. Um, it's a big uh, uh, corporate and international one out of Germany. Um, when you look into uh, the industry, using corporates using uh, screening solutions is something that isn't natural because it's established in the banking industry. But really, we are now seeing an extended demand to uh, also pretty much use these services in other sectors of the financial services firms. Mm. So now that you've connected to the SWIFT API, uh, that opens the door to more of SWIFT's new to market innovations. Can you talk a little bit about that? So, um, I mean, APIs are easy to connect, straightforward to use, so it doesn't take you kind of, let's say, a lot of time uh, uh, to pretty much ha have it implemented. And uh, looking at uh, Swift's APIs capabilities, we see already a few more services coming up that they are offering to the wider industry. The one that we are actively looking at uh, together also with our customers is really the securities view, which has also been promoted heavily at uh, the Cyprus here in Toronto. So this will help uh, uh, our clients to really get um, more operational efficiency into the trade life cycle because it really enables uh, to pass alongside all of the uh, information of the participants of a trade. Mm. It's great to hear such positive stories about how you're turning these innovations into to real world use cases. Uh, let's turn our attention now to some of the mandatory changes that the SWIFT community is readying itself for currently. Uh, what are you hearing from your extensive user network as they prepare for the transitions to ISO 2022? Yeah, ISO 20 or 2.2, uh, I would say something that has been here now for years. I know it's a very hot topic on payments nowadays, uh, but really looking back um, just lately in 2021, the proxy voting business has moved to ISO uh, with the SRD2 regulation. So we've been seeing really over a decade uh, but with regulations, uh, uh, kind of, let's say, the participants moving on to the new uh, standard. So overall, everybody who is active in the financial services industry either has already finished a project for ISO or is, is heavily engaged to be really be ready by 2025. Um, looking into what uh, is on, on the agenda of these people, of course it is a new standard, but also uh, having data transformation from the old to the new standard is one of the items where people are looking for bridging solutions uh, until 2025. And we can't forget that instant payments is around the corner. So uh, what are you hearing from firms about how they're preparing for that? 
So instant payments globally, I would say, has different stages of readiness. Um, I mean, for some countries, it's kind of, let's say, hey, why are you not using instant payments already? For other countries, uh, very similar to uh, the EU, including Germany, I think we will need some regulation coming up, which we'll just make that service mandatory for everybody who is um, really active in the uh, payment industry. So overall, I'm expecting this uh, to come to Europe very, very soon as a, another, I would say, um, mandatory requirement with a tough timeline that uh, banking firms uh, need to adapt. And hopefully it triggers the change to really think about moving to a shared service provider like Bordridge. So all in all, it's a great time for innovation, but against the backdrop of so much change, uh, for some it may still prove challenging, I think it's fair to say. Uh, would, you, would you say that's a fair assessment, actually? I, I would tend to agree. Yeah? I mean, my personal view is Look, change, even mandatory change, I think kind of, let's say, helps us personally, but also the industry to rethink what we do, yeah? To mm. baseline our service offerings, to baseline really what is our demand, what do we want to offer? So I really think in the end, it's something that we should take as encouraging rather than kind of, let's say, a hurdle to overcome. Heidi, we appreciate you stopping by to talk with us here on Cybos TV, and we hope you enjoy your last day here at the conference. That's Heidi Dittmar, General Manager of Broad Ridge Financial Solutions in Germany. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Thanks, Heidi.